So hi hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to prepare a land use land cover map using unsupervised image classification in ArcGIS. So let's get started. So this is an official site, the USGS Earth, Ex Earth Explorer where you can able to download the satellite image for to perform a land use land cover map using a unsupervised image classification technique. So in this video, we're going to use a Landsat 8 image to perform the unsupervised image classification. So let me get back to ArcGIS. So after downloading your Landsat 8 image from USGS Earth Explorer, go to the option called Add, Add Data and go to your desired folder where you, have, where you have downloaded your Landsat 8 image. And after, uh, after unzipping your uh, so after unzipping your satellite image, so you will have around 11 bands containing uh, Landsat 8, 11 bands of Landsat 8 image. So now to add this, make sure that you click all the bands. Now let me show you. So now I have selected all the bands of Landsat 8 image. So to add this uh, bands into Arc ArcGIS, click this option called add. So now you can able to visualize that we have added all the 11 bands of Landsat 8 image. So these are the steps to perform the land use land cover map using unsupervised classification method. First you have to download the Landsat 8 image from USGS Earth Explorer website. So to download the Landsat 8 image from Earth Explorer website, the video will be given in the description. Make sure that you uh, see in our uh, description section. And second, we have to perform a band composite. So next, we have to perform uh, band composite. So to perform band composite, go to the option called search. Now search by band composite. So I have entered a band composite. Let me search it. So now you can able to view that this is our tool. That is our band composite from data management. Let me click this. So now this is our band composite tool. So now let me uh, import all this 11 bands into this tool. Let me select this band. So I've selected all the bands. Now let me uh, drag into this tool. And now you can able to see that I have added all the 11 bands of Landsat 8 image. And make sure that you choose your output location. So now let me click OK. So this is our band composite of Landsat 8 image. So we have a band composited all the 11 bands of Landsat 8 image. Now let me show you that. So we have around 11 different bands of Landsat 8 image. So let me remove this uh, other bands, this, uh, this bands. So I will remove this unwanted, unwanted layers. Let me right click, remove. So suppose if you want to visualize a satellite image in true color composite, follow this band sequence. So to view our satellite image in natural color, that is true color composite, the band should be arranged in order of band 4, 3 and 2 for Landsat 8 image, band 4, band 3 and band 2. So now let me arrange in, the, in that order. Let me click band 4, band 3 and band 2. So this is a natural color composite. So now let me import my shape file to clip the satellite image. Now let me add my shape file into ArcGIS. Go to the app section, add data. Now let me click my study area. Click OK. Let us click add. So this is my study area. Now let me clip the satellite image with my study area. For that go to the option called search. Enter as clip. Now search. Make sure that you click uh, Clip Data Management Tool. Now input your uh, Landsat 8 image composite and choose your output extent. Let me choose the study area and click this option and choose your output, lo output location. Now click OK. So this is our uh, clipped study area satellite image. Let me turn off other layers. Now let me just select in the natural color composite. 
फोर थ्री एंड टू सो मी हैव वी हैव मेनी फीचर्स इन दिस पर्टिकुलर स्टडी एरिया सो यू कैन एबल टू व्यू क्लियरली एबल टू व्यू हियर वी हैव अ ब्लूइश वाइटिश ब्लूइश कलर विच इंडिकेट्स अ सेटलमेंट एंड हियर द वाइट कलर इंडिकेट्स द फ्लड प्लेन एंड दीज आर द डिफरेंट अंडुलेटिंग टेराइंस एंड दीज द वाटर बॉडीज and we have forest areas and suppose if you want to view the satellite image in the color infrared composite make sure that you follow this band composite sequence so to view our satellite image in color infrared uh, color infrared composite make sure that in landsat 8 you select this band sequence 5 4 and 3 now let me select the band sequence as Five, four, and three. So this is a color uh, infrared composite. So now let us perform the unsupervised image classification. So go to this option called classification. Suppose if you are uh, cannot be able to view this particular section, make sure that you click in the right click in the empty section, and enable the image classification. And uh, you can able to see this tool now. So to perform unsupervised classification, go to the option called classification, and choose the ISO cluster unsupervised classification. So this is ISO cluster unsupervised classification. So now choose your Landsat eight image that is unsupervised clip. Let me remove this one. This is a complete satellite image. This is a clip star satellite image of my study area. Let me remove this. So now add the number of classes. Let me add six classes. And choose the output cell location. So now click OK. So this is a result of after performing unsupervised image classification. That is ISO cluster unsupervised classification. So we have around six different classes for this particular study area. So now let me show you. So first, let me uh, turn this off. and let me turn this on over satellite image which is in true color composite so this one is in true color composite so you can clearly able to visualize that so here the uh, the bluish white indicates the settlement the settlement areas and similarly here it indicates a uh, bluish white again it indicates a settlement and the water bodies are in and water bodies are here represented here these are the water bodies Uh, this is a flat plane now let me turn over turn on our supervised image classification so we can clearly able to visualize that the settlements are being classified the settlements are classified as a green color and the flat plane is classified in yellow color and the water bodies are classified in dark green color and similarly the dark, dense vegetation let me show you the dense vegetations are marked as uh, dark green color So it is marked in vegetation is marked in the purple color, and the normal vegetation has been marked in red color. So our unsupervised classification is pretty accurate. And suppose if you want to add the base map to visualize the different features, you can also do it by using uh, using this particular option. So go to the option called Add Data, and add base map. and choose the satellite imagery and click add so our base map have base map has been added into our arcgis now let me show you that let me turn this off so this is our sri's uh, base map so to check the features to you can uh, you can able to do in two ways first you can use your either your the band composite of your satellite image or you can, or also you can able to use the base map of the streets you can use the ba streets base map to check the features now let me zoom into this particular feature go to the zoom option 
So my point of view is that generally you can uh, able to use our the Landsat ATMH as our base map in true color composite to view our features. Uh, S3's, map, S3's base map has a certain laggy, it's kind of laggy. So we can able to view that it's kind of laggy now. So now let me uh, label my features and choose the desired uh, color for it, the each of the feature class. So go to the option called unsupervised layer and right click, go to the option called properties. So now you can uh, able to see, so here the green color here indicates this particular green which is a water body. Now let me uh, choose a color for it, right click properties for selected colors I will choose blue as my color and similarly I will choose the color for other classes too so these are the different classes feature classes that is we have water body dense vegetation vegetation fallow land build up and water body for water body I have given a blue color dense vegetation is marked in dark green color and vegetation in light green and fallow land and yellow color and build up in red and here this indeed this particular color here indicates the yellow one which indicates our floodplain so generally the floodplain it is in dry condition so it is classified as an uh, uh, classified as a different uh, two sets of class so suppose if you want to add this uh, floodplain to your water body so floodplain is a it's a water body it's a river path containing water so suppose if you want to group this water body and uh, this floodplain together so you make sure that to group that you can press control click this one and uh, click this one too now right click group values so now we can able to see that both the floodplain and the water bodies are being grouped as a single single class now let me name as water body So now we have around uh, 5 different classes for our study area. So now let me click OK. So this is our uh, unsupervised image classification. So we have our water bodies and we have our dense vegetation and uh, light vegetation and the red color indicates a settlement and yellow indicates our fallow land. So now we have performed our unsupervised image classification and we have a five different features, feature classes that is water body, dense vegetation, vegetation, fallow land and build up. So now to calculate the area of this individual uh, feature classes, let me uh, go to the option call, go to the arc toolbox section. So now go to the conversion tools and now go to the raster section and convert raster to a polygon. Now insert your uh, supervised ima unsupervised image. Now let me click my unsupervised image. Now let me choose the output location. Now click OK. So now I have converted our raster, uh, raster data to a polygon data that is a raster to a vector data. Now let's find the area of this individual features. So now let me go to the supervised, unsupervised polygon layer, right click, open attributes. So we have our grid codes. So each of this grid code indicates the specific feature class. So each of this grid code has a specific feature class related to this, related to water body, dense vegetation, vegetation, fallow land and build up. Now let me show you that. Let me close this. Now go to this unsupervised image raster file, right click properties. So now you can able to view that this is our, uh, let me uh, show you that. So this is our grid code for our feature class. Now let me note this. So now I have two connotes of uh, the grid codes. The one and six represents the water body, two represents dense vegetation, three represents the vegetation, four represents fallow land and five represents build up. So now let me minimize it. So now let me close this. So go to our supervised polygon section, right click properties and go to the symbology section, categories, 
choose the value field as grid codes now let me turn this off add all values so we have around six different classes so we have our grid codes now let me open my notepad so one and six represents water body now let me uh, group this together one and six has a water body control click one and six so right click group values so now let me enter as water body and similarly let me choose the color for it right click go to the properties for selected symbols let me choose the color as blue click ok and similarly let me uh, name for other features too use your notepad so I have named the unsupervised unsupervised polygon layer as as a water body tense vegetation vegetation fallow land built up with a specific color to it according to our according to our raster layer the colors are similar so now click ok so this is our uh, polygon layer so raster layer we have overlain by polygon layer let me turn this off so to calculate area go to this uh, unsupervised polygon layer go to the open attribute table so now let me add a field called area add field let me choose a name as area now choose a data type as double now click ok so we have our area so now to calculate the area so go to this uh, area section right click go to the calculate geometry click yes and property let me select area and choose your units as square kilometers now click ok yes so now you can able to view that each of this feature class area has been found so here the grid code 3 represents represents vegetation 4 represents fallow land 5 represents build up and 1 and 6 represents water body so we found the area of feature all the feature class So in this video I have shown you how to uh, perform an unsupervised image classification for land use land cover mapping and how to calculate area of each of these feature classes. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.